Flavor family, greetings from Rose Honey and me on a beautiful Thursday night here in Chicago. Can you smell that? Rose, do you smell that? Art, do you smell it? Oh, I smell it. Tell them what it smells like, Art. It's bacon! Bacon! Bacon, 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 bacon. We're rendering bacon. And Art said, you should actually save that for the stream because I would watch a live stream channel of just rendering bacon. A close-up, <laughs> right on the uh, sizzling meat. Because we have to render some bacon first. And, uh, oh, your phone's playing some audio there. Right? Um, Cause we're gonna make some cream spinach. We're gonna make scallops. We're gonna make uh, some butternut or acorn squash. Rose might help us out. And we're gonna have a good old time. So I hope you're having an amazing time. Before we start the stream, a little housekeeping, Rose. What do we do first? Exactly. Can you hear me well and can you hear? The cameraman, okay. The can cameraman known as- Can you hear me now? Uncle Farturo. Do it again, Art. Uncle Farturo. Can you heal Art? And how does the picture look? Are we coming in HD? Can you see exactly how beautiful Rose is? Can you see her smooth collagen rich cheeks and her chubby little cheeks that I call little guanchales? Huh? Can you see them? Because if you can, oh, they say yes. They say yes, we can. Sherry's here, my girl. Amira's here from New York City. Amira's so funny. So guys, Amira's a huge fan on uh, Instagram. She sent me a screenshot of what's on sale this week at Amazon yesterday because it refreshes every Wednesday. She's like, Amazon Prime Day. So I said, Amira, we're gonna make scallops. So on the menu tonight is perfectly seared crusty scallops with a brown butter pan sauce, cream spinach that's dairy free with bacon and mushrooms and roasted acorn squash with a maple cayenne glaze. Ooh wee. Greetings from Manitoba. We were just talking about Manitoba earlier with the- Oh, uh, oh yeah, it's so funny. Hey, Baba. And uh, Mr. Where, where'd it go, where'd it go? Oh man, there was a great one I had to read. Manitoba, we used the hemp seeds from Manitoba right. earlier. Je yeah. Joseph Finley. What up, Joseph? Lay off, man, I'm starving. <laughs> I said that earlier to Art. Hey, sweet pea. Mm. Rose is gonna be my sous chef tonight. So we actually have had a long, long day. We've had a long 48 hours. So what we've done oh, is right. filmed two videos yesterday at the grocery store. We did an immune boosting video, the top 10 foods to boost your immune system and stay healthy this winter. And we did a video for the frozen food section at Aldi. We did not get kicked out. We filmed a review of the frozen foods, very similar to this week's uh, podcast for Flav City. So Manitoba is where they make the hemp parts in Canada. And the reason why we talked about that earlier is today we filmed two cooking videos. See, yin and yang, yesterday at the grocery store, today in the kitchen, right, Rose? And Rose made an appearance too. We made hemp heart, pumpkin spice, keto oatmeal, and we made Desi's cheesy keto pita bread from the cookbook there. Those videos will come out next week and the week after. Art and I don't stop, you guys. It's crazy. We were working till nine o'clock last night. We'll be working to nine o'clock tonight because we got to clean up the kitchen, upload the footage. You can't stop us. So we won't stop. Us. You, we won't stop us. But you guys got a little bit of work to do also because I want to know where you're all watching from. Rose is like internet who? What's going on YouTube? Teach her. Let us know where in the comments you're watching from. For example, Char Troyer. Char -Troyer I know where she's from already. She's from Michiana, Michigan because she's a long-term family member. So leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. If you want to let us know what you're making for dinner, that works too and share. Sharing is caring. Take the stream link, share it over to Facebook wall, Instagram stories. I want to break records tonight. Rose, can we make a thousand? Can we finally get a thousand people on the stream? Can we do it? Can we do it? Yes, we can, my little buttercup. Okay, so I rendered off some bacon back there. Now I'm going to chop some organic cremini mushrooms. Now, can someone tell me why I'm partial to cremini mushrooms? as opposed to white button mushrooms. And if you're like, Bobby, what is a cremini mushroom? It is also known as a baby bella. It is also known as a baby portabella, right? Ooh, Nacogdoches, Nacogdoches, Texas in the house. Ooh, I never heard of that place. Uh, East Texas. No, nice. Near the armpit of hell. Hey, Nacogdoches, I missed the name. Is that considered East Texas or Deep East Texas. Char Troyer, 9.99 Super Chat. Thank oh, you, Char Troyer. Char Troyer, long time supporter of the channel, like I said, from Michiana. Super Chat is an amazing way to support the channel, to get your comment highlighted, but the best way to really support the channel and get more eyeballs here is buying the cookbook, which last week ellipsed 600, baby, 600 five-star ratings on Amazon. I think we're up to 611. So I put the Amazon link down below. 
Keep sharing. We're getting close to the holiday season. If you know someone who wants to eat clean eating recipes, the side dish today is from the cookbook. So look at this. Normally in the book, I serve my dairy-free cream spinach with butter-basted fennel spice chicken breast. The most amazing meal because the chicken breasts have so much flavor and this is dairy-free and you would never know it. But I said, hey, you know what? I want to serve this with my, uh, with my scallops tonight. You can do that. So even though there's, there's 125 plus recipes in that cookbook, you can mix and match like a DJ, waka waka, woo! You can have like what, over 300 possibilities. It's crazy. I gotta give a shout out here. There's a huge hand, huge fan here from Hungary. Ooh. Hungary, that's the origin of my last name, Almashi. So I gotta. Oh, very cool. Give a shout out to my heritage there. Um, the capital of Hungary is? Budapest. Budapest. I have been to Budapest. Okay. I was there with my friend Todd probably about 14 years ago. Very interesting city. I went to the famous bath in the middle of the city. Had a good soak there. So Blake look, Keaton with a $5 super chat. Bobby, you've been a life changer. Thanks for everything you do. Thank you, Blake. So thank much. you. F bacon rendered, fat rendered out. We do this first because I don't want flimsy, floppy bacon. And I get to cook my mushrooms now in here. Now this brings us to trivia number one of the night. Rose, you know that daddy is very, very partial to trivia, right? So, I'm gonna ask our family members out here. All right, come in close for this one. I wanna caramelize these mushrooms, Rose. I wanna caramelize them in the bacon fat. So knowing that, my love, do you think these people should answer to salt now, put salt in the pan now, or wait until 10 or 15 minutes and then add the salt? Answer yes and no, and more importantly, answer why. So I want Rose to be educated by my family members here too. Right, Rose? So let me get the rest in here. And it might look like a lot of mushrooms, but mushrooms are 90% water. It's gonna cook down like nobody's beeswax. I'm gonna pump up the heat. Pump up the volume. Okay, so Paula says wait. Sierra says wait. <clears throat> George says wait. Uh, Irina says wait. Wait, put salt in there. Salt at the end. Sherry says wait, because if you salt now, you'll draw out the moisture. Whoa, is that a super, super chat? chat? from Canada, $10 Canadian. Oh, Canada. Rosie is gorgeous. Thank you, Canada. Thanks oh, and another so one. And another one, Rue Lightcap. Wow. Thank, in the you. House. So Thank you. So I gave Canada a shout out in the video coming out this weekend because I want you guys to have equal access to all the amazing stuff we have here too. And another Canadian super chat, $5. Canada, Thank you Australia, so high five. I keep hearing from fans in Canada. They don't have half the stuff we have here. They go to the Canadian Costco. They don't have anything we have here. We got to hook up our friends up north. So thank you for that Canadian super chat. Rue, Delaware, I've never been there, but I want to come there in the summer and go like cod fishing or something. And Adam in Canada, thank you very much. That's right. Amira says salt at the end. You guys pretty much all got it right. What does salt do? Salt pulls out moisture. If I want to caramelize the mushrooms, I can't do that if they're swimming. Swim, 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 swim in a pool of water. That won't work, will it, silly girl? It won't work. No. So we salt it at the end. If you're caramelizing um, onions at home, same thing. Salt at the end. Okay, so if you're just joining, here's the menu for tonight. We're making perfectly pan-seared crusty scallops with a brown butter pan sauce, dairy-free crimped spinach with mushrooms and bacon, and I just finished in the oven here roasting some acorn squash with a maple syrup and cayenne glaze. Check that out, Art. I'm just gonna keep it in the oven to keep warm. So I roasted at 400 for 50 minutes. I put the broiler on for five minutes and it makes it nice and blistered and caramelized. And look at the, the color from the maple syrup. It's almost amber. It's beautiful, right? This is like fall. Desi specially requested this and I thought, you know what? It might not be the most exciting thing to do it live on stream, so I did it about an hour ago, and it's gonna be awesome. So these are cooking down. Now I find when you're making for, um, cream spinach, it's best to use frozen spinach because frozen spinach is already chopped and wilted down for you. And this right here is about a pound and a half of frozen spinach. If I wanted to buy that at the store, it'd be a clamshell and a half, huge, huge amount, and it would cost me about $7.50. This costs for organic only about, <clears throat> three dollars. The key is you have to defrost it and then look what I'm doing. You have to squeeze out all the water. This is the only caveat of doing 
frozen spinach, all that water is gonna make your cream spinach watery as can be. So just go ahead and squeeze it out. Wanna come say hi, Ben? That's a no. Can you say hi to Chris Daly's daughter, Jacqueline? She's seven and loves to eat well. No GMO for her. Jacqueline, I love to hear that. Hello, stick to the organic, stick to the non-GMO, stick to the ingredients you can really pronounce. Uh, Shell Rose, look at her. Even She's like, hi, Jacqueline, you sound like a good friend. I only eat real food too. Non-GMO breast milk for me. <laughs> but I love when I hear kids are getting involved in the kitchen, when parents watch their videos with their kids, and sometimes they send me videos on DM, or they tag me in their stories on Instagram, it lights up my heart because I love it. A kid um, brought a snack to her mom on the couch on stories, and the kid said, here, mommy, this is Bobby approved. My heart melted. It was the coolest thing ever. So a few more housekeeping things. Raise your hand in the comments if you are subscribed to the new Flav City podcast. Bobby approved the Flav City shopping experience. If you're not yet, search Flav City on any platform that has a podcast. The first episode came out this week from Trader Joe's. Next week is from Costco, and the following week is going to be the middle aisles of the grocery store. People are, yes, yes, yes. Do we have any feedback about the podcast? Is it too long? Is it boring? Can you not hear us well? Art and I had no idea what we're doing. We just went to the grocery store. I had a great idea. I said, you know what? I don't think anyone's doing podcasts shopping at the grocery store. And it's kind of an extension of what we're doing on YouTube anyway. And I think it could be big, so we'll see. Bobby, do you sleep? Um, I do. Sleep is the most important thing. An ideal night, I will sleep eight to nine hours of, of sleep. But Rose, sleeping's all over the place. She was sleeping for eight hours straight for a while, but this week has been pretty brutal. But I do believe on, a, on an ideal night, I like to get eight to nine hours because as soon as I get up, I work, and I work until late in the day. What's Rose that? Rose with a $10 super chat from Rizalina Hutton. How Thank nice you, is Rosalina? She just gave us a super chat just for you, young lady. Huh? Mm. Rick so Lopez sweet. wants to know, uh, is there a difference between buying organic and non-organic pasta? Yeah, it's very important to buy organic pasta because it's made from wheat. Wheat is highly sprayed in Roundup, and glyphosate is very active in wheat. So always buy organic grains. It's very, very important, Rick. Rick, you're the one who uh, works at HEB in Texas, right? What did you think of our HEB haul, and what did you think of the fact that uh, we didn't get kicked out? How cool is that? What are you drinking, somebody asked. I'm drinking my new uh, favorite water, S. I'm going to get them to sponsor a video next week, uh, next uh, year in the summer. This is flavored water, and I love it because it says cold-pressed peel oils, no natural flavors, and it's cold-pressed fruit. They have two flavors right now, blood orange and lemon. I love it. The owner sent me a big case for free because they saw me give them a shout out in the water review video. Highly recommend it. Between this and Spindrift, you're good to go. All right, so mushrooms are caramelizing down. Are you going to make hummus anytime soon? I think it should be a Bobby's Basics. Does someone want to see how to make the ultimate hummus? Because I did learn a couple tips in Israel and Jordan when I was there. We make a mean hummus. It's very tasty. It's not paleo. It's not low carb but it's tasty, right? It's a tasty treat that's so delicious. So we're kind of in, made in the shade here. I think in the meantime, I wanna show you these scallops. Has anyone else bought the scallops on sale from Whole Foods yet? Amira, New York, I know you have. Let me reach in the fridge here, my love. Scallops are normally expensive. I think they're 26 bucks a pound, but if you're an Amazon Prime member right now, you can get them for, I think, 16 or 17 bucks a pound. And they're big, you guys, they're 10, 20. So what does it mean when you see seafood that says 10, 10 20? <laughs> what does that exactly mean? So look at these, Art. Oh, Dana B, four ninety nine super chat. Hi, Art, Rose, and Bobby love scallops. Thank you, Dana. We Thank love you. you. So much. Look how big these are. If you wanted to get this in a D restaurant. Brown, $5 super chat. Please D tell Miranda, no, she's got this keto thing. Watching on the 65 inch tonight. Awesome. <laughs> Thank Who's, you. Nice. Who's Miranda, his wife? Well, D, who's Miranda? Let us know. So 10 to 20 refers to the number per pound. Exactly right, Iris. And it's such a great deal because I can get up to 20 for $16. If you go to a restaurant, you can maybe get six of these and it's going to be $30. You sear them in a really hot pan. 
you salt them at the last minute. You guys, this is what I call the candy of the sea. They're so sweet and juicy, but to wick away the moisture, keep them between two paper towels in the fridge. Is that another super chat? Amanda P. Hey from Carteret, New Jersey. And making, making chicken, chicken sausage, sausage kale soup. soup. Thank Amanda, you so I love that. Rick Lowe so, has chimed in about the H-E-B. Ah, tell me. Honestly, really like the video and I appreciate the shout out you gave me in the middle of the video. You sure got beginner's luck, man. Hope you can do <laughs> it yeah. next time. I'm not doing it again. We'll go somewhere else. We'll go to Sprouts Farmer's Market. But dude, Central Market also was super cool. That's Shaheen stuff Shaheen in the house. Who? Shaheen. Shaheen from Dubai. Everyone say hi hello to Shaheen. Old hello, school. Hello, Desi. I love the baby rose. <laughs> Old Scott school flan. Say hi. Too tired to stay for the live. Oh, hey, thank you. It. Old school fan from uh, Dubai. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I was going to say, you're so cute. And when I go to sleep at night, I miss your face because I love to see it all day long. That's what I was going to say. Miranda said, thanks, D. Brown. Hi, y'all. I'm Miranda. Ah, he was answering Miranda. Ah, I got you. Thank Joseph you. Finley. Nice. Uh, we got 500 people on the stream. Homework time. Take the link from the stream. Paste it over to your social media platform of choice. Instagram stories. Say, hey, yo, Bobby and Art. The guys from Chicago are hanging out making a delicious paleo dinner. Rose is hanging out. This is go, you, to your, go to your Flav City Facebook page and say, hey, post it to the story. Say, Art and Bobby are hanging out making really good recipes with one of the cutest babies in Chicago. Her name is Rose Honey. She's over 16 pounds. She's four months uh, old, and she's cute as a button. Right? Look at those collagen-rich cheeks. I just want to eat them. I want to eat them. Um, 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 um. Give Daddy some collagen. I love that collagen. I love it. Mwah. Okay. This is turning into a baby and cooking channel. Right, young lady? So do we get any feedback about the podcast? Any uh, constructive First criticism? Up. People are liking Okay, it. good. Good, 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 good. Excellent. So if you're just joining also, the menu tonight is... A hmm, piece of bacon just fell. Five-second roll. <laughs> Pan-seared scallops. Brown butter pan sauce. And cream spinach. And the roasted acorn squash that's done already. Um... That's it, you guys. So, this is just about ready to add the spinach. I have a pound and a half of defrosted spinach there. We're kind of made in the shade, right? This is good. Having a good time. Central Market is owned by HB, HEB. Yep. I know, Iris. She's gaining so much weight, it's amazing. Yeah, this is the one from the cookbook here. Char, $9.99 for you, Rose, honey. Thank you, Char. They love you, babe. They love you. And your hair is sprouting. Her hair is so pretty. So, like I said earlier, this is from the cookbook, Keto Meal Prep. It was kind of fun. We walked into the Amazon bookstore this weekend with Rose. It was on the shelf right there, right above or right under like Gwyneth Paltrow, right next to like another famous person. I was like, that's kind of cool. So, it's the dairy-free cream spinach. If we look at the macros, it only has 7.8 grams of net carbs per serving. And it's dairy-free because it's cooked in coconut milk. If you don't want that, you can use cream and it's totally fine. Let me answer a couple of these questions and then flag one of the questions over to you for yeah. extra clarity. When yeah. does Art release a cookbook? Uh, undecided yet. Um, where did the scallops come from? We got them from Whole Foods, but do you know anything about the origins of these particular scallops? Did they say where they came from? You know from? what? I t didn't pay attention. I'm pretty sure they're wild. Let me see here. If you're an Amazon Prime member, they were on sale from they? $24.99 or is it $26 or $24? $24.99 down to $16.99. Right, Amazon right. Prime member from yesterday until next Tuesday. These are wild caught. Wild caught, I don't know exactly where, but that's all you can ask for. They're never frozen. But if you buy frozen scallops, someone asked me if you buy frozen, it's uh, Costco, what do you do? You have to defrost them overnight in the fridge, not underwater, and then you have to put them between sandwich layers of paper towel to wick away as much moisture. They're gonna have slightly more moisture than the fresh ones, but you have to pat them as dry as possible, otherwise they will not get uh, crispy in the pan. So pat them dry, then put them back on a sheet tray in new paper towels, sandwich it again, and let it wick away as much moisture as possible. Sounds like a big process. It is a bit of a process, absolutely. So Art, come back here. Mushrooms are pretty much where I wanted them to be. They could get a, a scotch more color, but I'm pretty happy with that. Isn't it crazy how they cook down? Now I'll take my spinach, and I'm gonna break that up, and I'm gonna add some salt now, and I'll add some more salt later. Now, are you guys ready for a very exciting salt that I think you've heard me talk about before? And we have an amazing promo with them right now. Look at this, Art. 
This is Redmond Real Salt. I've talked about it before and I'm talking about it in the video this weekend. This is pure, unrefined, ancient sea salt from Redmond, Utah. It's unbleached, unprocessed, unrefined. You Why is that important? $20 super chat. Okay, take a break here. Hold on. From Daniel. Daniel. Diana. Wow, Daniel. Thank you. You are amazing. All right, pan up here for a second. Daniel, thank you so much. And I want Daniel and all you guys to hear this. I talked about this in the salt video a while back. If you're using salt like this, or iodized table salt. It is a heavily processed, bleached, refined product. All the minerals that are good for your body are stripped away, and it has anti-caking agents in here, so it comes out smooth. This is bad. This is about equal to the canola oil of salt. This is great, and so is Himalayan pink salt, so is Celtic sea salt, but this is from the USA, and this has 60 trace minerals in here, including electrolytes. Electrolytes like calcium, magnesium, that are very good for you, and it has an amazing flavor, not just sodium chloride like this, it has an amazing flavor. Art's making a crazy face now. Tommy Art. You just got a $49.99 super chat from Donna Tyler. Thank what? you for your videos. I enjoy your channel so much. Keep on cooking. Donna, I'm gonna give you a kiss. Mwah! Thank you so much, Thank Donna. So that was much. so nice of you. And, and a 14, Teresa? And right after that, $14.99. Teresa P. Got my salt package today. Just arrived 10 minutes ago. Yes, Thank so you. enough of me babbling about the salt. In the description box down below, Click my promo code. It takes you to the Flav City bundle on Redmond. The price for a 16 ounce bag of kosher, a 16 ounce bag of fine, a travel salt shaker like this, and a special recipe card is only $26. It's cheaper than amazon.com. I want you to move away from this salt. This is basically the, the prime kind of salt and it tastes great because of the natural minerals and it's good for you and it doesn't spike your blood pressure as much as this kind of salt does. Also, in that link, if you scroll to the bottom, is the um, Bobby's Bundle on their toothpaste. Their toothpaste is the one I use because it only has five ingredients. It's 100% real, there's no chemicals and the flavor is unbelievable. They're an amazing company, they're very interested in keto and they're gonna be working with us for a long time and I really, really like them. Oh, you know what? I was supposed to add some onions and garlic. Oh, you better do that. So let's do this. Right, One of our quick. friends from Austin that we met just said, hello, Bobby and Art, just joining in. Remember me from Austin, Texas, Paolo Azuniga. Oh, I remember Paolo, yeah. Um, nice to see you. With we, us. we did the Austin meetup a couple weeks ago and 25 or 30 people came. It was really fun. We did it at the original uh, Whole Foods in downtown Austin. So I was supposed to put onions in there, but it's not the biggest deal. We'll, we'll get around it. So let's chop up the onion stat here. So yeah, guys, I'm really passionate about that salt. I think you're gonna love it and it's healthy. It's really good for you. Okay, this goes in, Rose. I'm gonna add a little more fat too. Because the, uh... here's what I'm gonna do. So if you ever make a mistake like that, push the stuff you don't want to cook too much to the outside and make room in the middle. Like we're not making a souffle here, right? We're not making a cake. Nothing bad's gonna happen. And then in the middle, I'm gonna put another shot of avocado oil so it kind of fries it. So the outer edges isn't really cooking too much. And then I'm gonna go in with a few cloves of garlic. Char Troyer again, 1990 Super Chat. Thank you, Char. Char, you're so, so generous. Molto Hany Rosso. So this weekend, you guys, this week we have another three videos coming. I have a bonus video coming this week. So yesterday we did the sweet potato mash. Today we do the live stream. Tomorrow we have a airplane snack review. What's so Char funny? Char said, now I'll get a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> you got one, Char. Art and I filmed a video on our Southwest flight to Austin two weeks ago doing a healthy airplane snack haul of snacks and drinks you can bring on the plane. That's coming tomorrow on YouTube. Then Saturday is gonna be the immune boosting video. At the grocery store, the top 10 foods and products you can buy to stay healthy and strong this winter and fall. And then Sunday is the Trader Joe's frozen food review. I think it's gonna be a huge weekend on the channel, you guys. Hey, so I'm, I think it's time to start expanding the video ideas. Are you guys ready for fast food, food reviews? Like what to get healthy at Chipotle, uh, Shake Shack, even McDonald's? Do you wanna see more travel stuff? Like what to eat healthy on the airplane, what to eat healthy at O'Hare, at LaGuardia, stuff like that? 
I think the options are endless. I want to start doing city guides, the healthiest places to eat in Chicago, New York, LA, Dallas, stuff like that. Let me know what you think. It says yes. Where do we get the link for the salt? In the description box, right below. Right below, or if you're on a mobile browser, you might need to click that little down arrow to expand the... Yeah, if you're on mobile and that you were wondering, he always says down below in the description box, there's a little arrow under the video to your right. You got to click that arrow. Down there is the link. It takes you to the salt. And if you scroll to the bottom, you can also get the link for the uh, toothpaste. I'll show you the toothpaste next week. It's one of the cleanest toothpaste I've ever seen. It's free of chemicals and harsh uh, detergents. It's amazing. Perfect. Sounds like people like those ideas. Good. It's good. I mean, we, we still have a ton more stuff to do at the grocery store, but I want to mix it up. And also reviews for vegetarian versions. Vegetarian versions? Joseph Finley, $24.99. Joseph! As Frank Reynolds would say, I need to get in on this. <laughs> Joseph, do you still want to do the book giveaway? Joseph said he wanted to give away 10 books to the Flav City fan. So if you want to do that, let me Thanks know. Thanks so much. We can actually do it right now, Joseph, if you want. We can pick 10 winners. 1987 Cenicienta. Uh, I know how to cook. I like to cook. I don't do it as much these days. I just, Art's a great I cook, you guys. I can cook. She had, I, I believe that person had a great idea. I uh, said it earlier. Um, how about if Art and Bobby cook the same dish and Desi blindly taste to see oh, funny. if she can figure out who cooked it? That's fine. Sounds like a great YouTube channel. I like that. A great video. Let's see here. Me, I want a book, Angie. The link for the Amazon book is down below too. If you live in another country, don't use my Amazon link. Just search Flav City on Amazon. South Florida in the house. Yeah, you'll let me know. It's, it's, it's totally up to, uh, we'll do a giveaway in the future anyway. And someone said, how come I don't do many giveaways? When I do them, they're big. I want to do one for the holidays, like give away five La Crusade pots, right? Hook up people for the comfort food season. Get huh? Weird smoke huh? slash fish eye emoji from Jessica Rabbit art. Crystal says, fine or kosher salt to cook. Ordered my Redmond's real salt. Ah, uh, so he wants to sell. So what I do is I cook with kosher. So Art, come close again. Yes, kosher is for cooking because the size of the crystal, you can pinch it. If you try to pick up fine sea salt, which I have right here, it's kind of like sand and it falls through your fingers. So you tend to over season. Whereas if you pick up kosher, you can really pinch it. Like so, the sands of the hourglass. Ex exactly. The days, of our lives. the days of our lives with Bobby and Art. Cook with this, finish with that, or season uh, boiling water with that. And uh, take the travel ones. Look at these. In case you go on the road or to a restaurant that under seasons, you break out one of these little travel guys and you shake it on instead of using their crappy white salt. So I wish restaurants would start using better oil there's no restaurant out there that uses avocado oil. And I wish they would start using real salt instead of white salt, right? Which one, which one of those is best to throw over your shoulder? I'd say the fine. Don't do it now because there's like a- No, I'm not gonna do it, yeah. But... I don't do that in the house. Okay. I don't believe in like superstitious like that. Very superstitious. You're so cute. All right, time for another- uh, Shaheen said, are those herbs in it? Uh, no, that's minerals. It has- Minerals in there. I'll show you, Sheen. Extreme close-up time again. Who's the sweet pea? Extreme close-up. I don't have Who's the sweet pea? Huh? Who's the love? Huh? Rose, say hi to everyone, right? So, Rose, we weigh her every Friday. Right, Rose? And last Friday, she was 16 pounds, one ounce. And she's only four months old. She's exclusively on breast milk. Uh, her sleeping's a little up and down right now. But we think the reason why it was bad this week is we had to move her out of her bassinet because she was too big. She was pounding into the walls. We put her into a new temporary crib until the new one comes. And Desi thinks she didn't like the transition. But last night she was better. So, right, Bevo? Hmm? And look at those cheeks, you guys. I want to eat those cheeks. I want to put some tartar sauce on them and go, mm -hmm. right? And she made a cameo today in the video I did for the uh, hemp heart oatmeal. Right, Sweet Pea? In yesterday's video, if you saw the sweet potato mash, she was in that too. Okay, so Art, stay here. Okay. So this kind of worked, right? We cooked the garlic and the onions. Now we can kind of incorporate everything. Is avocado oil from Costco good for high heat cooking? That's, it's not expeller pressed though. It, so number one, it is the best for high heat cooking. It's one of the healthiest oils for your heart. 
it lowers your bad cholesterol, raises your good one. And it is either expeller pressed or centrifuge separated. That's what you want for avocado. There is no such thing really as cold pressed avocado oil. It's always gonna be expeller pressed or centrifuge separated, meaning it's spun really fast and the oil separates from the fruit. And the one from Costco is the best one to get. Now, I think what makes this cream of spinach really unique is we don't use any dairy. All right, switch sides for a second. I'm gonna use coconut milk and coconut cream. So coconut cream, I opened today from Thrive Market because I've put this in my hemp heart oatmeal. Amira was thinking about you when I did that. And I need to get another can of coconut milk. Now don't worry, because you might think, oh my God, Bobby, this is gonna taste like a pina colada. And it really doesn't because it's so savory. What do you think about cooking with coconut oil, a fan asked. Um, I love it, but it does have a flavor. So as long as you don't mind that flavor in the dish you're doing, coconut oil gets a bad rap. About maybe a year and a half ago, all these doctors came out smashing coconut oil. And they said it's saturated, it's bad like butter. What they failed to talk about is that it's a good saturated fat that has a very interesting property to it called lauric acid. Lauric acid is incredibly good for you. It's very hard to find in vegetable oils or fruit oils. And it's a good saturated fat. Just make sure you buy extra virgin. Anyone who tells you good quality saturated fats like grass-fed butter and ghee are bad for you, just move on, right? That whole traditional thinking of that like saturated fats are bad. No, if you're eating like really bad saturated fat, like maybe conventional butter or conventional beef fat, but if you're eating, look at this, I got this 100% grass-fed beef tallow, grass-fed ghee, butter, or pasture-raised pork lard, those are good for you. Desi and I are watching a documentary right now on, net, on a YouTube called The Oiling of America and how basically in like the 1920s, the food industry duped everyone into switching from saturated fats to processed canola oil, soybean oil, and sunflower oil and ignored all the studies, bribed people, paid them off not to publish them. And basically, as soon as that started happening, the amount of heart attacks started going up in the country. So good saturated fats is what everyone ate prior to that, and they were 100% fine. So that's my, that's my view. Finley said his wife is drooling. Looking at that. Nice, Finley. So check it out. It's getting super duper creamy. And if you don't want to do coconut milk, just use regular cream. It's fine. Let me show Shaheen that salt. She wants to see the minerals up close. Oh, so, sure. So let me show you the kosher. It's better. So this is, the, wants to see. this is the 60 trace minerals in here that not only have electrolytes in there, like magnesium and calcium, but this gives it a complex flavor. When you eat salt like this, Art, it just tastes like sodium chloride because it's bleached. When you eat this, it's subtle and different and complex. And this actually makes your food better and is better for you. So snatch up that price right now, you guys. I'm telling you, it's going to be there till the end of the month, including my uh, toothpaste bundle. Link is in the description box. Fantastic stuff. They're really cool cats. We had dinner with them in Chicago last week at Girl and the Goat, and we had such a great time. So now I actually want to check it for seasoning because there's a 99.9% .9 chance it needs more salt. Art, why do I give it 99.9, .9, not 100? Every now and then you get it right. Every now and then I'm like, this is certainly going to need more seasoning and it doesn't. So Rose, very important. Check for seasoning while you cook. One before of the... you taste that, let me just say, we have 626 viewers right okay. now, which is great, but we can do way better. Than we can that. do better. How can we do better? How can they help us? Art? Share it on all forms of social media and dating profiles. <laughs> farmers only. Tinder, farmers only, whatever. Totally. So one of the things that us... Home cooks often do wrong is not checking for seasoning. You wait until the end, you taste it, and if you salt food at the end, it's too late. It won't seep into the actual inside of the food. It just bounces to the surface and makes it taste salty. So this is bland as can be, and I knew it would be. So now I'll take some of the salt. You were 99.9% .9 sure it would be. I was. So I felt pretty good about that. And now I'll just keep cooking it down. And let's start preheating our pan for our scalopas. And if you missed it earlier, about an hour before the stream started, I took an acorn squash, 
I brushed it with avocado oil. I put a little bit of maple syrup and mixed with smoked paprika, cayenne, and cumin in the cavity. All right, come a little closer. And I roasted it for 55 minutes. I put the broiler on for five minutes. This is fall. It's sweet, it's a little spicy, and that maple is so darn good. Desi loves this. So I would recommend doing that. Actually, my favorite squash is called delicata squash because you can actually eat the skin. I would just cut that one in half, scoop out the seeds, half moon it, salt and pepper it, and then roast it, and then the last five minutes, brush on the maple syrup glaze, broil it. It's amazing because the skin has a little bit of texture. It's lovely. Shaheen, that is acorn squash, not pumpkin. Art using his golf voice again. Do the, the master's line, Art. What? Do the master's line, a tradition like any other. A tradition like no other. <laughs> the masters. Can you make quick this. recipes for a uh, long work day? Yeah, I mean, look, a lot of these normally are quick, but they're long because we hang out. But in the cookbook, I have many recipes that really don't take much time at all. If you look on our YouTube channel, we have over 300 videos. Many of them are quick and easy. So I want to talk about scallops now. Once again, these scallops are on sale at Whole Foods. And I want you to switch sides, Art. All right. The key to making these scallops really, really crispy is eliminating any excess moisture. So Art actually patted these dry, then we sandwiched them between two layers of paper towel. Scallops have an abductor muscle, and I'm gonna, Art was close, nice close enough. Close to you, number right, on the right. This one, on the right. this one. Yeah. This is the abductor muscles here. You wanna take that off, because this is tough as can be, and it won't cook and get soft. Once you do that, this is literally, I paid how much for this? Uh, about $20 for all of these scallops. It's an amazing deal. At a restaurant, this would be $100 plus. Now, salt them the last minute, put them in a screaming hot pan. So I think some folks might be looking at that and saying, Bobby, seafood, not in a nonstick pan, you're doing it in cast iron? Yes. How do you do that? How do you do that? You get your cast iron pan insanely hot, my love. That's how. I'm thinking some people might. Yeah. <laughs> Some people might say, listen, it does work in a, in a nonstick pan, but it's not gonna be the same as a hot nonstick pan, a hot cast iron pan. If you, go to a, if you go to a restaurant and you see how they're cooking it, they're doing it either on the plancha or in the cast iron pan. The pan literally has to be smoking and that's how you get a really nice crust. And we only cook it roast for like two minutes on the second, first side, one minute on the second side, that's it. You can actually have scallops a little rare on the inside because if you overcook a scallop, it's a darn shame. It's tough and rubbery. You don't want to do that. Then we'll make a pan sauce out of it. Right, my love? Huh? Birmingham, Alabama. Hello, Richardson, Texas. Hello. Where in Texas is Richardson? It sounds familiar. Finley says, wife and I have a t-shirt idea that we're working on for Bobby and I. Would, would be a Christmas gift. Really? Shaheen. All right, guys, I'm off. Have a good and blessed meal. Take All right. Care. Hashtag Thank you. Cooking. Hashtag mad love. Hashtag peace. Love to baby Rose in regards to Desi. Thank you, Shaheen. It's cast nighttime in Dubai. Best, Amira says. Say again? Uh, Amira says, cast iron is the best. Got mine because of you. Jessica Rabbit says, I want to love spinach, but I just can't. You know what? When you cook it in so much coconut milk and coconut cream or cream and regular dairy cream, you can, you'll like it. Trust me. Is it too late to bake and wrap the scallops? Um, it is too late. And here's the deal. It's not going to work. The scallops cook in literally two to three minutes. The bacon's going to be raw. So even if you par cook the bacon, it just doesn't make sense. I don't uh, understand. Another, another fan from Austin, Texas in the house. Nice. So I think uh, I'm going to cook these in avocado oil because we're going to make the sauce out of grass-fed butter. Jessica Rabbit says she's going to because of you. She's going to what? She's going to try the spinach. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do it. So the recipe is in the book. And if you don't have it, it actually lives on my blog too. So if you search on the Google machine for Flav City cream spinach, it should pop up. Got another Danish fan in the house. Not Anders this time, Mar Mariana. Really? Uh, ooh, I just learned that vowel. Huh. Huh. Holt. Nice. I don't, she can correct me, I'm probably wrong. So I think last time we did scallops on a stream, I did it in ghee, but I'm gonna make the brown butter sauce anyway, so there's no point in using ghee necessarily. It's getting good. Still, it needs more salt. All right, that's the beauty of checking for seasoning. And I'm gonna add a good grating of uh, Pecorino Romano in there. But you guys, I taste zero coconut. It's just savory spinach, mushrooms, which are very umami fat, uh, flavor packed, and uh, the garlic and onions and the bacon. 
Here's a great question for you. What kind of oil do you use if you require high volumes, like deep frying? Expeller pressed oils. So I use expeller pressed canola, sunflower, safflower, or peanut oil that's non-GMO. You're gonna spend a lot for that though, aren't you? You're not gonna spend nearly as much as you would for avocado oil. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now, I don't wanna overcrowd the pan. I can probably get eight of these in. So let's season these bad boys. Stick them around there. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll stay here I'll for a second. First, yeah. yeah, cause I don't wanna season all of them. Because if I do, it's going to start pulling out moisture. Moisture, you guys, is, I'm telling you, the enemy to making these crispy. So let's just get these in. Now you can come around, Art. And I want to be on standby here with my splatter guard. And watch the, let's pull Rose a little further away because I don't want any splatters to get splatter. you, young lady. You don't have a rose guard. No. I never promise you a rose guard. So the pan is really hot. Is it smoking yet? It's almost smoking. Let's wait. Another person asking, how would you do these bacon wrapped? No. See, guys, bacon wrapped just doesn't make sense. A filet, that might make more sense because it takes about, what, 14, 15 minutes in the oven? Scallops take no time at all. If anything, I'd make a bacon chutney or bacon jam because it's my jam and put that on the side. What if you par cooked the bacon? Like in it, the oven and then wrap them around? Well, here's the deal. If, I, if bacon is perfectly cooked, it won't be pliable. We're cooking these literally three minutes in the pan. The bacon's not gonna barely touch the heat. So once again, I just don't think it'll work, you guys. Mm. I, I, I might have to noodle with this one. You guys really want it to work. Look what we did earlier, guys. We made a video for Desi's keto pita breads. These are cheesy pita breads made with almond flour and they mozzarella. They are good. These are, Art's first time having I them. I think so, they are good. Eggs, almond flour, and cheese, thyme on top. They are so cheesy and flaky, like the real deal. It's crazy. All right. Eric, he spent $16.99 because he's an Amazon Prime member and they're on sale at Whole Foods. Exactly. For Prime members. Otherwise, $24.99 and he probably wouldn't have bought them today then. $26.99. $26.99. Yeah. No, I definitely wouldn't have bought them. I'm not spending that kind of money. I only buy scallops when they're on sale. I can do a couple more here. Do you sometimes use ghee for this? Yeah, I do, but I'm making a butter sauce, so I feel like it's not necessary. And I don't use pepper because pepper might burn at this high temperature. And to be honest, pepper is overpowering for the scallops. So, literally two minutes. Someone remind me to check those, and we'll get them out, and we'll I'm keep them sure warm. I'm sure your fans will be right on top of that one. They always are. That's why we love each other, right? And I'm, I'm going to just keep this secondary oven here warm here. It's a little too hot, actually. Let's do this. 190. Okay. Rose, exciting, right? Rose, this is your first scallop, right? This is your first scallop. And I think your first cream spinach, right, young lady? You're being such a good girl. You've been hanging out with us for what? 45 minutes, right? Not even crying. Oh, you're going to be such a little sous chef. I can't wait to have fun with you. Uh, your cookbook is keto, but in the future is a paleo cookbook a possibility? Yeah, so I definitely won't do another keto cookbook, but I think more paleo recipes. We have an idea for the next cookbook. I don't want to say it yet. Um, I, I do think many of the recipes will be paleo in there. But yeah, I mean, because I'm not a keto strictly guy. We're keto paleo at home. So I don't want to pigeon myself just into a keto. But yeah, I think more paleo is coming. Just more like real eating, clean style eating, no processed foods. But you know, if you're gonna eat processed foods, that's why I make the uh, grocery store videos with art. I wanna show you the best ones to eat because some people need snacks and stuff like that. And you gotta pick the right ones, right? Have you watched season two of Rotten? I just watched the avocado episode and I'm a little bit into the water episode. So yeah, I'm excited. Avocado episode was thrilling. It's about avocados, the cartels, the price of avocados, and how Mexico just took over the market and 85% of the avocados that we eat in this country come from avocados de Mexico, right? And how so much water, so much water. The things we love the most, almonds, almond milk, and avocados require the most water. It's crazy. I don't think it's going to be in my lifetime. Hopefully it's not in Rose's lifetime, but raise your hand. We're going to run out of water eventually, aren't we guys? They're talking about how in like cheaper or like poorer parts of Chile, they don't allow the residents to drink that much water because they need it for the avocados. It was crazy. Totally crazy. 
Wait till you get to the cacao episode. Man, it's horrifying how badly the farmers are treated. That's, that's why you have to buy fair trade. Uh, you have to buy fair trade cocoa, and that's what they're talking about with avocados. They want to have fair it's trade. In two minutes. Okay, let's do it, fam. Check the scallop. Thank you, Kyle. Si, senor. And yeah, you got to have fair trade. Fine. So check it out, Art. I don't think they're quite ready, but I'll peek here. Sneak a peek. So it's not quite there. I'm going to let it go. Sometimes the first batch doesn't get quite as dark as the second, but I feel good about it. Um, let me get stuff for the sauce. So Art, switch with me real quick. The sauce is going to be easy. It's going to be Kerrygold butter, a little bit of bone broth that we made in the slow cooker. We're kind of mixing it up. Look at the uh, beef tallow, Art. This comes to the surface after you make your stock. A little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of salt and pepper and parsley. A lot. I bought scallops from Aldi today because of Flav City. Yeah, those are uh, responsibly uh, sourced and farmed. But like I said, you have to wick away the moisture from those as much as possible in between paper towels and don't defrost them in the sink. Do it in the refrigerator. Melinda's first time watching us and Rose. Oh, nice, Melinda. Are avocados GMOs? No. So, Art, come over here. These are beautiful. Look at this. This one didn't get the color I wanted, but that's what I'm looking for here. And I use an offset spatula. Oh, it's, it's splattering. Oh, it's going to be a horrible cleanup. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Perfect. All right. Oh, so avocados are not GMO. You don't have to worry about that. But like I talked about in the GMO video, even though they're not GMO, they put that non-GMO Project Verified sticker on there just to make us feel all warm and fuzzy inside. The only GMOs you really have to worry about are corn and soy. Other ones like apples and potatoes aren't GMO with Roundup uh, Ready. It's GMO to make them less bruising. But stuff like avocados are not GMO. Welcome to the party, Alana. Welcome uh, to the party. 1987, Sunny Santa. Is Rose dressing up for Halloween? Desi, is Rose dressing up for Halloween? What is she going to be? Oh, it's a secret. Ah, we have to what? Oh, we have to watch. Did you forget to flip one? SQF. No. It just didn't get the right color on there. I think the second batch will be better. I want to check that uh, for seasoning one more time. And the second side of the scallops, one minute. Mmm, less than 10 minutes. Mmm, mmm. That was so good. It needs more salt, but I'm going to wait because I'm going to add more uh, cheese. Nuclear Fusion says dress rose up as a rose. <laughs> yeah, seriously. All right, all right, check it out. Let's evacuate the dance floor here. <laughs> Joseph Finley, Art, Bobby, guess who I'll be for Halloween? Who? I'm going to get the Joker. Oh, yeah, I'd say the Joker. That's, that's my guess. I bet you a scallop, I'm right. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pump the heat up for the second batch here. Or he might go as Hans and Franz. I'm wondering, is he going to go with an SNL thing here? Or is he going to go with a Tough his, call. His screen, his picture? Profile? Tough call. So what I want to see that, you guys, some of that is liquid from the uh, scallopas. So what I actually want to do is just tilt the pan and get it out because I don't want to cook these in water. I just want to cook them in fat. There we go. Go down to Sprouts. It's a farmer's market. We would love to go to Sprouts. We'll get there eventually, you guys. We don't have any near Chicago, but we will get there. So this is why you have to use a splatter guard. See, it's still kind of making a mess here, but at least we're containing it here. But hey, not only do I cook, but I clean and art helps afterwards. So take care of our messes. I'm going to keep these warm in my mini oven here. I wonder how long that sauce is going to take because I don't want my scallops to get cold. What do you think? How long will the brown butter sauce take? A couple of minutes? A couple of minutes. Yeah, it shouldn't be that long. I'm going to get it ready. I'm going to get a nice knob. So we all know that we love Kerrygold butter because I love the color of the butter. It's rich and yellow and has higher fat percentage than American butter. But keep in mind, it's not 100% grass-fed. Even though it says right here, milk from grass-fed cows, Kerrygold abides by the Irish dairy law, meaning that 20% of the year it's fed grains. I can't find out if it's GMO, which probably tells me it is GMO, um, because in Ireland, the winters are very harsh, but it's still better than... Do they have GMO corn in Ireland? There's GMO corn, there's GMO corn everywhere, not bad. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I got to find out 100%. But it's still better than 90% of the butters in the market. The price has gone up a little bit lately. It used to be 288 at Walmart. Now it's like anywhere from 350 to 380. It's crazy. Uh, no, Ma Mariana's friend. not. Okay, yeah, I was going to read that. Yeah. Uh, Finley, you nailed it, Art. I can see you going to Sprockets, old SNL skit. Question is, can you dance? <laughs> Art does a really good uh, sprockets. Carrie Gold's on sale right now. Nice. Leave a mine off a monkey. <laughs> Ooh, Char's hair and her nails are good because of it. Are you talking about uh, collagen and bone broth? So bone broth is great because it's, spoiler alert, that's one of the top 10 foods to eat this winter to stay healthy and strong. The video on Saturday is the top 10 immune system boosting foods. Bone broth is good because it's high in collagen, chondroitin, and... Um, Gelatin, those are very good for your immune system and your gut. 80% of the cells that make up your immune system are found in your gut, which means it's up to you to nourish, to foster those gut bacteria, otherwise your health can really go downhill. So that's important. We talk about ginger and turmeric. We talk about fermented foods like sauerkraut, pickles, uh, live and active cultures in dairy and non-dairy free uh, uh, yogurt and kefir. We talk about um, pumpkin seeds, very high in zinc. We talk about that you should avoid stuff like emergency and uh, coldies. Even though it has some vitamins, it's sugar, natural flavors, preservatives, artificial colors, total crap. All right, Art, let's get the second bat. That's what I want, Art. See what's going on here? That's what I want. I really wanted the pan to be smoking like that. So I, I have high hopes that the second batch here is going to be even better. So let's put that in. Someone set a clock now for two minutes, please. Two minutes on the clock. Two minutes. Wow, I'm getting splattered on my forearm. Yeah, it's pretty hard, guys. I was going to get hazard paid tonight. Yeah. Really splattering like a crazy yeah, there's person. There's all sorts of questions about Rose's diet, but then somebody said, hey, guys, I think she's still on breast she's milk. She's still on breast milk, but stay tuned. We're going to really wow you guys with her diet as soon as she starts eating. Desi, when do you think she'll start eating solids? It's a six-month mark? Yep. So we have two months, you guys. Two months. Very exciting. All right, I'm going to reach in here and grab some Pecorino Romano cheese. I love Pecorino Romano. Where did it all go? <laughs> That's where I keep buying this. I love it because I call it the, the cousin to Parmigiano Reggiano. And it's, oh, here, here's the one from Costco that Art told me to get. It's a sheep's milk cheese from Roma. It's salty and nutty. And the price, what does that say? $5.99 a pound at Costco for nine-month aged Pecorino. High five! I like a saving money. I'm gonna wipe down the lens. I don't Do know it, Art. There was some splashback Do it. there. From the, uh, this moment action. is brought to you by Windex. Brought to you by the Rizzo shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm asking, who's on your shirt, Art? Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. So this will give me that last ah, salty flavor that I was looking for. I said it was a little undersalted. Throw the whole block of cheese in. <laughs> I would, but it won't melt. And this is why I love microplaners. Or get in there. It creates a snow shower effect. Sometimes you don't want a big hunk of shredded cheese, and sometimes you do. But it really creates that fine mist of cheese that melts so lovely. How long does opened Pecorino Romano cheese last in the refrigerator? Months and months and months. And if you see a moldy part, cut it off and keep calm and carry on. It doesn't matter. You guys, come on. Serve this to someone who like thinks they love cream and dairy or is like lactose intolerant but won't come to the grips and to give it up and they fart everywhere and make really smelly gas. Give this to them and they won't know. They'll think it's cream. They think it's, Kyle you know. Kyle says scallop flippity time again. Thank you, sir. Daniela says scallop. Alex Checkart. Uh, whoever's asking, I've known Bobby a long time. I'm high school friends, different high schools, but I've known him since uh, late 90s. Want to go another 30 seconds. Okay. We're not related. Everyone thinks we're brothers. Brothers from different mothers. That's right. Now remember, with shrimps and scallops, you can overcook it, simple as can be. But to undercook a scallop, it's so hard. When's the last time you said, oh man, this shrimp is undercooked? Maybe never? When's the last time you said, man, this is rubbery and overcooked shrimp? Like last week. So don't be afraid. Oh my God. Oh, with that cheese? Bellissima, bellissima. We have a fan from Kenya watching here. Kenya? We love using full fat milk for cream spinach here. That's right, Kenya. That's how you roll. And I Jess, love that. Jessica's giving you the barf emoji for, or no, just the frowny face emoji for the spinach. 
no, Jessica. Hey, so in Kenya, can you guys get like grass-fed beef and grass-fed ghee and stuff like that? Because I feel like in Kenya, they use a lot of like palm oil and processed uh, veggie oil, but I hope I'm wrong. All right, look at the color on these. These are even better. Oh, yeah. Right? That's what I'm talking about. Those are better. Oh, 30 seconds on the clock, please, maestro. I'm going to do a little more cheese in there. Because once again, has anyone ever said, that's too much cheese? No. So if you're just joining, we're making seared scallops. We're making cream spinach that's dairy-free. We made roasted acorn squash. We're about to make a brown butter sauce. And like I talked about earlier, we're using good salt. This we talked about earlier is Redmond Wheat Real Salt. I'm going to talk about them a lot this month because they were generous enough to sponsor the entire month from Utah. Real, unprocessed, unrefined salt that has 60 trace minerals. The flavor is fantastic. The health benefits because it has electrolytes is fantastic. Click the link in the description box. The bundle we created on their website is cheaper than Amazon. Once you taste it, you'll tell me that's what all the big deal was about. You'll know what I'm talking about. California in the house. Nova Scotia in the house. Morocco in the house. Mor yeah, guys, keep letting me know where you're watching from, Scallops by the way. Scallops equals done. That's Sca what Daniela says. All right, we're done. Check it out. These are coming out. Hello from India. Love your cooking style. Thank you, India. Love it. Scallops. Everyone's saying scallops. All right, Alaska they're coming. Alaska in the house. They're done. Alaska, nice. All right, I'm going to kill the heat on the pan because before we make the butter sauce... So that's what I'm talking about, you guys. Show the side here. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Croatia. Uh, Croatia. Nice. I am one third that's Croatian. Croatian, Lithuanian, and Russian. Curacao. Oh, heck, you're right. Too. Poland. Curacao. Destiny and I were in Curacao twice in 2016. Yeah. Maryland. Nice. Steeler Isn't this cool, guys? Thumbs up, right? We get to hang Chicago out. Chicago in the house. Morton Grove in the house. We get to hang out. Bless you, my child. You get to hang out. With people from all over the world. Where else can you do that except YouTube and the internet? Motown Philly in the house. Now, big, this is probably what? Two and a half tablespoons of grass fed butter goes in. I like the sound of that. Austin in the house. Austin. Right? We're going to melt that Daniel over. Galeana. Over low heat. We're going to get Good the lemon ready. Back. Virginia, San Diego. Nice. I'm from the United States. All right. Love it, dude. Love it. We got 705 people. Last chance, you guys, to get over 1,000 people on the stream. Take the link. Take the link from this stream. Paste it over to your Instagram story, Tinley your Park Facebook wall. Tinley Park, nice. Host of the New World Music Theater. That's, I haven't been there in ages. Theater Center, right? I, I haven't been there in probably 15 years because it's too far. Canton, Ohio, Huntsville, Alabama. All right, so butter goes in. I'm going to let that brown. Once it browns, lemon juice, bone broth, salt, pepper, parsley, done. This is done. Have you heard of Bahrain? Of course I've heard of Bahrain. That's what Nada asked. No. I haven't been there, but I've heard of it. And once again, in the cookbook, you guys, this recipe is paired with my butter-basted fennel spice chicken. But you can mix it up any way you want. So let's just say you turn to a random page. Boom. This is crispy skinned salmon with blistered snow peas and cauliflower rice pilaf. You can make this dinner with rice pilaf. Or if you go boom, ba boom. Oh, pita breads. Look, we made these today on YouTube, actually, just to show you how easy they were. This is the one I made. The one in the cookbook is the one Desi made. Obviously, Desi's are a bit prettier because she's really, really good like that. And then double cheeseburger on cloud bread bun, 100% keto. Pork chops with a whipped cauliflower mash and braised kale. I mean, these are the kind of recipes you want to eat. Burrito bowl with Mexican rice made out of cauliflower. When you're dieting and trying to lose weight, these are the recipes you want. Pulled pork sliders, because mm. you don't feel like you're sacrificing flavor. This is the kind of food that will help you lose weight, get off a of diabetes medication, and feel darn Stay good. Stay right there for a second. Somebody yeah. asked earlier, Art, what's your favorite meal that Bobby's cooked? I don't know. That's a hard question, but this one is definitely on yeah, the list. Yeah, that's a good By one. By the way, guys. Hollywood Casino Amphitheater now. Is what that's called. what it's called? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, wow. So once again, for the book, if you want it, thank you for supporting it. We got the link in the description box, or if you live in Kenya or somewhere else, just search Flav City on Amazon. All right, Art, check it out. The butter has browned. So now I'm going to add some lemon juice. Right, and then I'm gonna go in 
sure with a little works. bit of beef stock here. This is bone broth actually. We made this in 20 hours in the slow cooker. $9.99, Joseph Finley, jo slightly. slightly drunk donation. Okay, <laughs> Joseph has a habit of being drunk and donating to the channel. And you know what, Joseph? We appreciate I that feel anywhere. Like those donations have to go into like some reserve account for a lot of <laughs> like after the fact, like uh, annulment of it. <laughs> All right, so we add that and we just kind of whisk it around. We're trying to get a little bit of sauce here. And we get the flavor of the pan in there too. That's the beauty of making a pan sauce. So I want to reduce it. I added salt and pepper. So it's going to have a lovely flavor. Let me check it for seasoning. It might need a little more. Uh... Marisa, I would love to see you cook with Laura Vitale. She's actually a good friend of mine and I would love that. So maybe next time I go to New Jersey, which would be the first time because I've never been there. Cafe I'd love to cook with her. $1.99 Super Chat watched old live streams all day while cleaning. Wow, that's amazing. That... We have hours and hours of those because each live stream is about an hour. Ooh, nice. Okay, it needs a little more acid. Whole Foods employee in the house. Oh, nice. Jermaine Mason. I love it. Where? What Whole Foods? Yeah, tell it what. You can give the city. You don't have to give the actual location. Yes, you can. So a little more. Okay. Art's getting hungry, too. Mommy's getting hungry. A little more salt. When is the hashtag feed art going to come into the <laughs> You guys tell me, yeah. Is Maggie B in the house? Yeah, where's Maggie? That's her invention. And our Uncle Farturo, that's her other. South Loop, Jermaine's in the South Oh, Loop. nice, bro. Okay. Love it. Check it out, Art. So see how the sauce thickened up by itself? It's because we mounted it with butter. So that's really nice. <laughs> Finley with the hashtag feed art. Let's see. Feed Uncle Farturo, hashtag. Huh. You know what? I don't love it because I picked up too many flavors from the bottom of the pan. I'm not going to use that. I don't love it. It's a little too burnt for me. I'm gonna skip. Sometimes you gotta know when to hold them. Sometimes you gotta know when to fold them. And that hand, I am folding. It's because the pan was so hot, it scorched the bottom, and all those flavors of the burnt kind of acric flavor lifted into my sauce, and I don't like that. So it's okay. We tried. All right, all right. Let's plate switch. Woohoo! Woo all right. <sighs> Plating time, 190. I want to see over 200 likes if you want to see this dish plated up because we put a lot of work into it and I think you're going to like it. Johnny P is not coming over today. Uh, Sherry was asking. No, Johnny won't be here tonight. Day off for Johnny. Plating time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Okay, let's get everything out so we can see it. Our Thurion. Can you move this uh, pan so it's going 90? Turn it 90 degrees. That yes, way I sir. I have more room for my elbows. Thank you. Okay, so we got... The scallops. Florida in the house. All right, we got the maple and cayenne glazed acorn squash that roasted for 50 minutes. Then we put the broiler on for the last five minutes. And then we have the dairy free cream spinach. So here's how I want to roll I want to take some of this, and put it down here. To be honest, you don't really need the sauce with the uh, scallops anyway. It's not a huge deal. Okay, good. Then I'll take a nice piece of roasty squash, and then I'll put down. Hit the some like, people is right. Hit the like, homie. We got we got a, oh two forty. We went from one ninety to two forty. Thanks for the love, you guys. Big we'll way. add some scallops here, Feed and even hard. though we don't have a sauce, I can kind of make something. Just with my garnishes. What does acorn squash taste like? Never had squash before. Uh, if you have, well, have you had butternut squash? It tastes sweet. It's like a potato that's very, very sweet. So it's kind of like a sweet potato, but even softer. It's amazing. Was Rose laughing over there? Okay, so. Feed. Hashtag feed Rose. Hashtag feed Rose. Okay, so I'll just take a little bit of lemon zest. Punch in here, Art, so you can rain see that. Lemon. Yeah, because I want a little bit of acid in there, right? Okay, good. And then you know what? Because the scallops are hot, let's do this. Let's just take a little bit of ghee. So I don't have a sauce, but look at this. All of a sudden, it's like just, just. just oh, oh, oh yeah, babe, come on. 
right? Now all of a sudden it's like, oh, we have a sauce, right? The residual now heat's happy. It's gonna melt that ghee, right? And then we take a little bit of parsley. We'll chop that up. And even if you're lactose intolerant or casein intolerant, you can eat ghee because Art, what happens to those things in the ghee making process? You were getting rid of the milk solids. They're getting uh, cooked away. They're completely burned and separated away. So unless you're highly intolerant, you can have it because there might be a trace of it in there. Little bit of parsley. Where are the pepper at, somebody asks. Black pepper? Maybe they're thinking of the red finger peppers. That you oh, have. the red finger peppers? Let me see I if I know. have one. I don't know, they could be talking black pepper. Uh, I don't have they that. In a general I sense. don't garnish with that. You like it a pepper? We're done, you guys. That's it. Oh yeah. Pan seared scallops, crusty and juicy, dairy free cream spinach with mushrooms and bacon, and acorn squash roasted with a maple and cayenne glaze. A hundred percent paleo. Everything's keto except the squash. This is what's for dinner. I mean, like on a Thursday night, even if you can get this at a restaurant, it'd be way more expensive. They, they cook it in canola oil. They'd use bad quality salt. We made it in avocado oil. We use the good Redmond real salt. That's why I love eating at home. So Art, when I cut into a big scallop like this, look at the inside. See, it's still, it's like blushing. It's slightly like, I'd say medium rare. It's not overcooked, but it has that nice hard sear on the outside. I'm gonna mop it up in the ghee, because it'd be a crime not to. So good. Earlier I said, scallops are the candy of the ocean because they're sweet and they're mild and they have a great flavor. And then I tuck into this acorn squash. Jesse's gonna love this. Finley says that's a 30 to $40 plate dinner there. Exactly. What's the actual cost would be a nice idea. An actual cost? Mm, all these scallops were $20. That's about a, not even a third of them. So I'd say, Six dollars of scallops and three dollars of spinach is nine and a quarter of this is 30 cents. Ten dollars. This plate costs ten dollars maximum. Maximum. So that's it, you guys. Quick, let's art. Try it out. Hashtag feet art because it's a real movement. Uh, let's get art a fork. Oh, here it is. This is the clean one right here. Right. That is so Darn tasty. Everyone say hello to Arthurion, hello, AKA everybody. Uncle Farturo, Uncle AKA Farturo. Arthurion 5000. AKA the art from the hashtag feed art campaign. <laughs> uh, give me some time on the protein powder. It's just, there's so much information with there. It's like very crazy. I'm just gonna go over that whole thing now. Get a little bit of the ghee here because ghee makes everything better. Oh, I'm ghee. Mm. It was sweet. Right? Mm hmm. You were, you were kind of doubting me earlier. Yeah, like, they're I not sweet. The term sweet to describe seafood typically. But, but it really is. It reminds me of eating like steak on the bone. And when you get to the meat on the bone, it's sweet. This is sweet. Hashtag feed art. It's real. That's nice. Right? Love art's face. Have the acorn. <laughs> oh, yeah, big. Does art have more shirts than the Cubs want? <laughs> Believe it or not, yes. Maybe now that we're transitioning to the off season art, I you might, can mix it up. I might have to do something yeah, else. Yeah, let's bring some other stuff here. How does Art feel that the Dodgers lost? Oh, <laughs> that was epic for the Nationals. That was just, yeah, you had to see that one. Yeah, now we're a little nervous that the Cardinals are playing the Nats now, but Nats are looking really good. Jessica Rabbit, this spinach is good. Ah, <laughs> see? Try it. You will like it. There you go. I think of green eggs and ham, you know, try it and try it, and you may try it again, I say. <laughs> You'll say, I like spinach. I think she will 100%. Yeah, that's good. All right, okay. let's wrap it up here. You guys, great time hanging out with you. Tomorrow is Friday. We have a bonus video coming out tomorrow morning, a airplane snack call at 35,000 feet on our Southwest flight from Chicago to Austin. Saturday is the top 10 foods and products you can buy at the grocery store to stay strong like bull this uh, this spring or this spring this uh, fall and winter and Sunday is a Trader Joe's frozen food review don't forget to subscribe to the brand new Flav City podcast search Flav City on every platform out there new episodes every Tuesday once again the real salt promo code is in the description box along with the toothpaste I have a promo code for that 
cleanest toothpaste you've ever seen. That's it, you guys. Amazing time hanging out. Thank you so much, you guys. Finley wants to send me a Cleveland Indian shirt. <laughs> no, we're not going to wear that. Uh, thank you so much. When are we coming to Florida? You never know. Art and I were there two months ago in St. Pete. Podcast. We had a great time. Awesome. Thank you, Veritas. Having a great time. Uh, most of my t-shirts you can get at Bad Pickle T-shirt. Search that on Google. Um, amazing time. Guys, mad love. Hashtag keep on cooking. Peace. Peace out, everybody. Who's getting a new diaper before bed, before dinner, huh? Are you smiley face? Are you smiley face?